Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fabulous day and we've had so many nominations, but we only have one Michael W. Holsall Woman of the Year. You're all amazing women, but we just have the one Woman of the Year. Will you please welcome to announce our winner and to give that award, our fabulous sponsor, Michael W. Halsall. Thank you very much indeed. But I think it will be, would be remiss of me if I didn't say to you, Pauline, what a great uh, performance you've Thank done. You. Thank you. I would also like to say, Elaine, Jean and Ellie, this would not be here today without the hard work that you have done. Thank well you done. Much. And ladies, what I want to say to you, I'm not as good looking as Patrick, <laughs> but if anybody would like some milk tray, they can. <laughs> Make sure that's not on YouTube. <laughs> but on a serious note, I hope and I know we have all had a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> the achievements of the finalists have been breathtaking and humbling and sometimes very sad. However, they've been a great inspiration to us all. Everyone was a great contender for the accolade of Merseyside Woman of the Year. But even if you were close and you didn't win, please remember you are a success for what you have done, and that is something to be celebrated in itself. <laughs> now for the envelope. But I am told I am allowed to say who was third and second and with the number of votes. So third place, with 7.68 of the votes, was G. Walker. <laughs> and second place, with 14.52% of the votes, Joyce Dunn. As I mentioned last year, it's the first place going back to Miss World for the uh, opening of the envelope for the people who are old enough, but there are not many as old as me. But opening the envelope for the Merseyside Woman of the Year 2016, Ros Transfield. It's Christmas. <laughs> well, the only thing I can say is thank you so much to the public for supporting and voting for me. I hope that I'm going to be an ambassador for Merseyside Woman of the Year, and I hope to continue raising money for Clatterbridge and mentoring the ladies who have breast cancer, especially the ladies on my table, and Beth, who is very poorly, and I love you very much. 
And I would like to thank everybody. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>